What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel marks the start of a new playlist. We're going to start checking out the best work gloves. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of different gloves in this playlist. We're going to check out exactly you know, how well they hold up, uh, the value, and if it's a glove that I would recommend that's going to make you money or not. So I hope you guys enjoy the series and stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's talk about these gloves. Now, these ironclad ranch works are absolutely by far my favorite so far. Um, I have gone through a lot of testing. I will be rolling out a lot of reviews. Um, these gloves have two seasons of wood cutting on them. So uh, I usually use these for chainsaw work, uh, cutting briars, um, moving, moving wood around. Um, if you know anything about doing firewood, uh, Firewood and you know the bark of the trees tear up gloves really really quickly. So this is some this is some sap on here from some pine, but um, by far my favorite glove holds up the best. So uh, on this version is uh, goat skin. This is an older version. Um, I I I do not I don't know if the uh, bull whip leather that they advertise with these are actually the goat skin or not. Um, I'd have to do some research on bull whip leather and if they are made out of goat skin, but whatever it is, it holds up very, very well. So you can just see how much wear and tear these bad boys have had on them. Um, usually a glove will always separate right here at the tip of the finger um, and just tear apart. Uh, I don't want to tease other for other videos, but um, I'm not going to show you what pair of gloves this is, but see where this tears apart here. Um, this is a common fail point for just about every glove is right there where it changes the material. So, um, you know, this has held up very well and I'm very surprised over two seasons of firewood cutting that these have held up. So I really, really like this course. Um, you know, the thumb well is what I would call it here. It's really, really durable, um, double stitched all the way around. It makes it really rugged around the thumb here where you usually grip stuff. So I didn't know if I would use this little terry cloth, uh, you know, little sweat pad thing. Um, I, I didn't know if I would use that, but it turns out that I use it a lot more than, than I, um, you know, than I care to admit, but that's what it's there for. It's a terry cloth little sew in, so you can basically wipe your brow. Um, kind of hard to keep it clean because, you know, stuff does get into it, but it's, it's there and it's very comfortable. So uh, I love these that they just have a little bit of Velcro here so that you can cinch them up. I never cinch my gloves up when I put them on. I literally just let them fly. Um, and it has just a little bit of elastic right here at the bottom so that it fits nice and it stays on your hand uh, and you don't have to worry about anything. Now, of course, with these very, very thick uh, pads on the fingers and stuff, dexterity is not there with these gloves. If you're looking for a glove with high dexterity, these are definitely not one. Um, I definitely can't start a screw. I can't I can barely probably start a big lag bolt with these. Um, the dexterity is not there, but overall hand protection, um, you can just see in the thumb, like I'm trying to move it around and you know, it's very stiff and the thumb feels like it's like horribly long. Um, it just points out there. So, uh, you know, dexterity is not something that I was looking for in a work glove for firewood but these definitely um, fit the bill for overall ruggedness. Uh, these are machine washable. I know a lot of people worry about if their gloves are machine washable. Um, if you're interested in what it looks like, I've never, never washed this set of gloves, but here is a washed set. Um, this is another pair that has a couple years on them, um, and you can just tell that, I mean, they're well-worn, but by no means are they torn up. So you can see some, I've, I've caught the leather in a couple different spots, but these ranch works really hold up. So, uh, you know, we've gone over dexterity. Durability is absolutely uh, uh, above all. I have not found anything that these things have not held up to. 
Um, and then let's talk about price. These come in at 25 bucks. Um, you used to be able to pick them up at Menards. Menards is no longer selling ironclad. As much as I can tell, they're not in the store. You can't purchase them online. So big bummer from Menards. Well, you guys missed out on that one, but whatever. Um, you know, th these are, are, are good buy for $25. I highly recommend if you're moving wood around, if you're moving anything jagged around, working with wire fence, uh, doing any kind of rigging, uh, rope work, arborists, I mean, they are absolutely great for that kind of glove. I'm going to put them on the top of my list uh, so far for the best work gloves. So upcoming in the next couple episodes of the uh, best work glove, we're going to go over a bunch of huge fails. Um, and, you know, I figured I'd push out the best glove so far um, and let you guys see it first. Go out and get you a pair. You will not be disappointed. Um, obviously, don't get these if you're trying to, uh, you know, do delicate work with gloves on. Um, this There is no dexterity here, but ruggedness, absolutely 100%. So I hope you guys like the tabletop review. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. Interact with me in the comments. Help me guide along um, these uh, glove reviews. If you have a glove that you want me to check out and, uh, and or purchase, uh, you know, by all means. But keep in mind, I am 100% uh, funded by myself right now. So at this time, I can't be buying a bunch of $25 pair of gloves and testing them all the time. So I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.